adding measurements with different units. We're going to start by looking at a problem that involves time. Let's say you rented two movies. The first one lasted 2 hours and 48 minutes, and the second one lasted 1 hour and 55 minutes. And let's say you want to take a break that lasted about 5 minutes between the two movies. So the question becomes, how long do you need to allow for the movie marathon? So I want to add those numbers. You know, one of my numbers is in hours and the other is in minutes. So I want to keep those units separate. If I add the hours, I'm going to get three hours. And when I add the minutes, I get 108 minutes. But 108 minutes is longer than an hour. So if I was to divide that by 60, I would find that it was one hour and 48 minutes. So I'm going to add that back into my three hours, and that would give me a total of four hours and 48 minutes. I was traveling along and the instructions said, drive 9,010 feet, then make a right turn and go three miles, and then make a left turn and go 1,270 feet. How far is that? Well, again, I'm going to be adding my feet and my miles separately. So I've got three miles, and when I add my feet, I get 10,280 feet. But that's more than a mile. One mile is 5,280 feet. So again, I'm going to divide the feet that equals one mile into my feet, and then it goes in one time with 5,000 feet left over. I add that to the three miles I've already gone. It's four miles, 5,000 feet. Next problem we'll look at has to do with weight. Megan's backpack weighs 10 pounds and 12 ounces. She adds a book that weighs one pound, nine ounces. How much does her backpack weigh now? Again, I'm adding both pounds and ounces, and I need to do those separately. So I have a total of 11 pounds and 21 ounces. Well, 16 ounces make a pound, so that's more than a pound. 21 ounces is one pound with five ounces left over. So I'm going to add that to the 11 pounds, giving us a total of 12 pounds, five ounces. Hopefully at this point you've seen a pattern. We add things of like units, and then we simplify if we can. Now, you ready for a challenge problem? For a typical sixth grader, the maximum recommended total weight for a backpack is 15 pounds. How many more pounds can she put in her backpack before she reaches that total? 